Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video on my channel. So today we're taking a look at uh, color grading inside of uh, Final Cut Pro. So here I have some, some of my clips from my vlogs in Lofoten, you can check them out on my YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe while you're there. First of all, I'm just gonna add on a grade layer. You can get the grade layer in my Selfie shop and then I'm going to add on a letter box like that. So now we have the letter box done to give it more like a cinematic feel to it. And now over to the color grading. So then we need a new gray layer on top of the clips like that. We want to drag that underneath the letter box. And then we just take a look at the color curves. We're gonna add a color curve and first of all we go for the Luma curve. So we're gonna make a traditional S curve. We want to drag down the blacks, not too much, just a little bit. Drag up the highlights. And then to make it more cinematically you take this one and drag it a bit up. You see you get that fade away in the blacks. You can do the same with the highlights if you want more kind of faded highlights. Also take a look at some of the other clips. Maybe a bit too much. Take it down a bit. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's a good starting point. Now let's take a look at the red, green, and blue curves. We want to do the same here. Make a slightly S curve, not too much, just a little bit, like that. The same with the green one, not too much, just a little bit. The same with the blue. Then let's take a look at the color wheels. So these are the wheels we basically basically can add some blue tones, for example, to our shadows, which is used a lot in uh, films, in Hollywood films. Just take the shadows and drag it slightly over to the blues or the more like the teal. I like to take the highlights a bit against the orange spectrum. I think I want to take the temperature just slightly up like that. You can already see that it's starting to get better. This is some really basic color grading. If you really want to do more color grading you should go into maybe buying color finale or something like that or, or using presets. I want to take the saturation in the midtones a bit down. Let's just jump back to the color curves and we can see if we can do any more adjustments with this one, the Luma curve. And add some more cinematic to it. Take up the midtones just a little bit. Hue and saturation curves. So here we can uh, basically saturate different colors. So if you feel like you have too much orange, maybe in this shot, we can take down the orange just a little bit. Take down the orange in the midtones. Make it more natural, make a more natural skin tone. And we want to take the blues just a bit up. The blues here, we choose the hue versus saturation. We have nice greens. So this part of the clip. Drag the greens just a little bit up and choose the illumination of the greens, make them darker and lighter. I think I want to take the blues and make them a bit lighter like that and take up the saturation just a bit more. Make it slightly more teal. I think we have a nice result. See here, before, after, see here, before, after, before, after. Before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after, before, and after. I think that's a really nice, uh, easy uh, color grading for your cinematic shots. You can also use this type of color grading in your vlogs if you want to. Uh, I will also leave a link in description for my presets. I do have a lot of uh, color grading presets. This is my best color grading preset pack. With, it's called the YouTube Creators LUT Pack with 25 different uh, LUTs inspired by 
a lot of different uh, YouTube creators. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave it a thumbs up if you haven't already and smash that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, peace! Thank <laughs> you.